Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you're doing well in all your classes. We're past the halfway point now. It's just crazy to me. Crazy. So this week we're going to be talking about investment objectives. Want to put a quick plug in. Great week of discussions on pensions. Thanks for your input. Thanks for everything that you're bringing to the class. Thank you for your midterm evaluations as well. If you have missed anything, you can make it up. I encourage you to make sure that you do that. It will make a huge difference in the long run on your final grade. So if quizzes have closed, if you have missed a spreadsheet, let me know and I can get that information to you. Investment objectives. So this is gosh dang. So this is um, based off of what you want to do with your investments. So in this one, we've got a couple different objectives. We've got growth. The whole objective of growth is for what you've got in there to grow. Income and growth, or just income. Let's talk about income first. The whole purpose of income is for it to provide residual income, either monthly or annual income of some sort. Real estate is a, is a great example of income. Um, a stock or a bond that provides dividends or interest is another example of income. Something that is going to continue to provide something regular. Uh, capital preservation is something that is more safe. You don't want to lose it. And so we're not going to have much, if any, growth opportunity. We're just putting it somewhere we're not going to lose it. Um, speculation, that is something where it is, it is pretty volatile. It's risky, but it also has opportunity for some, you know, some real upside. So growth objective, the target is retirement. Half of my investment is in there and my dollar goal is two and a half million. Income and growth, real estate, owning actual physical real estate properties where you can receive monthly income and it's also likely going to appreciate in growth. Um, his objectives is we've got a, a children's mission fund and a children's education fund. We want to see those grow. The reason is I want to pay for half of my children's missions if they pay the other half. I want to pay for as much of my children's education as possible, contingent on them maintaining certain things. Capital preservation is because we want to put a down payment on a home. We can't lose that money. We've got to have it in order to accomplish our goal of buying a home in 2030. So you want to get a mortgage where you're putting 20% down. You've got a $200,000 home, so we're going to put down 40000 And then speculation. This is one where our example is to do some sort of a startup company. How often will you review your investment objective? How often will you modify? I need an explanation to know that you have thought about it. Uh, a plan in place for modifying is, and uh, so you know what you're talking about. But I, I want to see um, four or five minimum objectives over here to receive the full credit. That's not too much to ask. So if you've got questions on that, let me know. Um, but I think having those objectives is, is of great importance in, in figuring out what you want to do with your money and having an understanding of the investment and what you want to do with that moving forward. So thanks again for all you're doing. Um, hope that you find that these videos are helpful and hope you have a great week.